Good morning everyone, it's Matt Soper here at Hampshire Carnivorous Plants and today I'm going to show you how to grow your own um, sphagnum moss. We've, this is another thing we've been asked a lot. Um, a lot of people are starting to, to use sphagnum as opposed to peat and it's a fantastic grow medium for Nepenthes, Venus flytraps and other plants. Um, it's quite easy to grow as long as you can get hold of a little bit to start with of live sphagnum you can produce it yourself and how we do it is what we've been asked is um, start with a plastic tray this is quite a large one doesn't have to be as big as this um, fill it with rainwater so you don't have to fill it right up to be honest so I should just, just put a bit of rainwater in the bottom to start with just put a bit in the bottom then we add some of our COM1 COM1 available on the website it's quite dry here don't think I would need all of that, that's plenty. All you've got to do really is cover the base of the, the plastic tray. That's our con one. Pat it down so it's got good contact with the water. The moisture will start to come through. I'll add some more water to that. To be honest, it's still a bit a bit dry. So all you're doing really is making like a a mini peat bog. So there we go. Now once you start doing this, there'll be no stopping you. <laughs> you can once you've got it growing, you've got it growing well, you can just keep cropping off. Now um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So push it that all down. Let that soak in. Let the water soak into the COM1. Just nearly there. And while that's soaking, have a look over here. In blue Peter fashion is one that I made earlier. You see this one? It's growing exceptionally well. And that took about three months to get to this point. And it's been cropped already a couple of times. This is what I was saying earlier. So how we start is you start off with a bit of sphagnum and you don't just put it in in one I find the best thing to do with it is to trim it up into little bits see this you'll see that you don't need much at all now little trims cutting it up into small pieces as I said there's probably other growers that have a different way of doing it but this is how I do it myself and it's been relatively successful over the years. See that, that small piece that we started with, I'll be honest with you, that's probably enough to get this one going. my hand how fine some of this is like a mush of sphagnum be careful with your hand when you're doing this and then just sprinkle the bits in like that these are a bit big here so cut them up again see that clean them all up sprinkle them on make sure they've got good contact with the peat and water on one and water and that's ready to go really I mean I've got it here so I will add some more but to be honest that's enough that's enough and that would cover that in a few months I mean now it's the winter's coming on so it will take a bit longer now so a good time to start doing this I would say is uh, very early spring would be the best time but you can you can start it at any time of year it's up to you just find it's a bit slower if you start it in the winter the stuff will still grow, so uh, it won't be the end of the world, it'll just take a bit longer. Personally, I would do it this time of year because we're too busy doing other things in early spring, so you know, I'm patient, <laughs> can wait for things to come up. There we go, that's how you start 
just back to try as I say you'll end up with one of these in a few months time well, thanks for looking I hope that's been helpful and I hope you can have a go at growing your own sphagnum moss <laughs>